Kanu Agabi, a senior advocate of Nigeria, leads 65 other lawyers in defense of Saraiki. The trial has resumed at the tribunal after about six months, following Supreme Court ruling on composition and competence of the CCT to try the case. However, trial could not commence as defense insisted the trial judge must rule on the motion it earlier filed, challenging the jurisdiction of the tribunal to try Senator Saraiki. Federal prosecutor Rotimi Jacobs opposed Gabi's stance. He says he was not served a copy of the motion. Rotimi described the action of the defense as an attempt to scuttle the trial. He was trying to delay it. And uh, you can see from the antecedent, the last, yesterday it was, it was adjourned. And under the law now, there is limit to adjournment you can seek. So, and all these antics must stop because the law has um, emphasized this and they're trying to uh, forestall it. And there's no way this thing can continue like this. Saraki's lead counsel, Kanu Agabi, who would not expantiate on the motion he filed, denied Rotimi's accusation. We are just as anxious as the prosecution is that this matter be heard and concluded. And, and I want to assure you that uh, the applications we have made are made in good faith, in the interest of justice, according to law. At the end of the spirited argument put forward by both the defense and the prosecuting counsel, with statements that sometimes elicited laughter in the courtroom, the trial judge, Justice Alade Umar, adjourned until the 18th of March. In his words, on that day, he will take the motion alongside, possibly, the trial. In Abuja, Ibrahim Adra, GoTel News.